YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is Pinstar Plays Loop Hero, episode 12. Now, uh, for um, in our last episode, we uh, we, we took a, a short venture into Act Two as the uh, as the rogue. Um, I mean, we came back with our hands full, but not uh, not as full as actually we have right now. Uh, I will be in, I'll be the first to admit. Um, in between last episode and this, I went on an expedition off camera. Well, sort of off camera. Um, essentially, there is a strategy that I want to attempt, but I needed to unlock something in order to attempt it. However unlocking it involved going for 15 loops. Now I realized that on my first um, Act 1 uh, Rogue victory I could have kept going past because I was already up to Act uh, 10 by the time we faced the boss. I probably should have kept going but I didn't so I did another Act 1 Rogue uh, thing for 15 loops. Um, but it was like a 15 minute, 50 minute video without my usual commentary. If you really, really want to see it, it's available to my patrons at any level uh, on my Patreon page. But needless to say, we got a butt ton of resources from it, uh, and we got our all important card unlock, which I will go into now. Now, as far as our resources go, um, I did get quite a bit, and we can afford a few things, including the crypt for the necromancer. But you know what? Before we dive into the necromancer, I really, really want to. Um, I really want to get into. I, I really want to get the intel center. Um, just because it's it's good. It's it's good. It's also really expensive. But we're about one one expedition's worth of resources away from getting it. Um, so we can always grab it and maybe a few others up here, and then we'll circle back for the Necromancer. Because I really want to hone in on my warrior and my rogue strategy before we divert into the Necromancer. Don't worry, we will get into the Necromancer. But without any further ado, um, let's, uh, let's take a look at our supply here. We did pick up some trophies, some, some goodies here. Um, so we've got an antique shelf, one max H uh, HP for every whole resource. Sure, I mean, we got furniture slots for that. Here's damage is increased by 5% when he's range of a road lantern or beacon. Um, and actually, this is really, really good. Oh, well, that's a jewelry thing, huh? All right, I'll take a, I'll take the jewelry thing. Um... This one, Skinner's Knife, 10% chance to receive one ration after killing a rat wolf and plus five damage to rat wolves. Sure. And then attackers receive one damage after every hit. Sure. And it looks like that's the max number of um, things that we can uh, we can uh, equip here. Um, I think we have to expand our camp before we can equip more thingies, but these are still pretty darn good. Um, so I'm not going to craft anything because I want to build up those resources. So enough jibba jabba. Let me introduce you to my, what I have in mind. So we're going to go back to the warrior. Um, and we're going to go to act two because we already know we can kick butt take names on act one. And I want more resources and I think we can handle this. But the way we approach things is going to be very different. See, <clears throat> some of you other astute uh, viewers may notice uh, that the word stalwart in Stalwart Warrior, the title of the uh, episode here, is spelled with two L's. That's not a typo. That's intentional. Um, so this is the build I'm going, I'm, I want to start experimenting with, this Stalwart uh, Warrior. Emphasis on stall. Um, normally when I, when I approach something, like, the, the immediate tactic of this game would seem to be like, okay, finish fights as quick as possible, uh, get them over with so you take less damage, get more loot, move on to the next fight. In here, we're going to turn that on its head. We're actually going to try and drag out fights, but use that to our advantage as well. How are we going to do that? Well, I'll show you. So, first things first, looking at our cards here, still don't like the cemetery. Not really feeling the cemetery. Um, just, yeah, nah, that's okay. Although, actually, you know what? The cemetery might be a viable option. But now, nah, that's going to crowd our thing. We need, we do need the grove. I do not like the ruins. If we're going to take, uh, if we're going to drag out fights, uh, having scorch worms in, in neighboring tiles just spitting away at us for a long fight, 
Don't want that. So no ruins this time. I like I like the ruins. Don't get me wrong, but not for the stalwart warrior. Uh, spider cocoon. Not good enough. Not strong enough. Not dangerous enough. Uh, they'd fill a tile easily. Um, we do want our vampire mansion because we want to get our vampire villages on. We do want battlefields. Um, more on that later. Um, but also our good friend, the Blood Grove. No road lanterns, thank you very much, but absolutely chrono crystals. Rocks and meadows, of course. Uh, no beacons. Warrior, I still maintain that the beacon is is horrible for the warrior but this is the one this is the reason why I, I went 15 loops for this thing the temporal beacon i've actually never used this thing but in theory on paper mm -hmm, speeds up time not not your walk speed not attack speed it speeds up time but also spawns these things called watchers um who are afraid of vampires, apparently. So I, I don't know what the Watchers are. Um, we'll see what they are. If they are proving too much of a nuisance, we can counter them with vampires. So this, my friends, is our deck. And also, I'm leaving the treasury off the table. Uh, so yeah, nice diverse set of cards. Nice, uh, you know, ra uh, chapter two challenge. Let us do it. Whoa! Longest road bonus, huh? Okay. Uh, so first uh, tactic here in my um, thing is I'm not equipping the sword. Not for the first loop. We, you're not going to die on the first loop. So um, might as well let the fights take longer. You'll, you'll get, you'll, you will get, um, I will take this village so that we can get the, uh, an immediate first quest. Um, so yeah, the, uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna get so, the, the, the enemies are so weak on, um, um, on the first loop that it's, it's, it's not worth equipping the weapon, but the longer you, you the, lo the slower you fight them, the, the less damage you do, um, the longer the fights are going to take and therefore the more monsters are going to spawn and the faster we ramp up. Um, yeah, I'm going to vampire mansion already. Um. Oh yeah, quest fail, but hey, it, it's okay. That's all right. I want I want to get my vampire mansion on sooner rather than later. And you know what? Yeah, we'll get our wheat fields down too. Um, yeah, I think this down here is going to be best place for a mountain. Yeah, they just don't do so little damage at, on loop one that it doesn't really scare me. Uh, but look how much time it's taking us here. And actually, we're getting some good stuff. Um, defense and counter, damage to all counter. Um, I mean, we'll put on the... Uh, actually, this one's a little bit better. Oh yeah, grove. Um, this is going. We're going to be setting up a grove, blood grove uh, area, so that the blood grove can snack on these guys. Smack! And there's our chrono crystals. Excellent. And you know what? I'm okay with chrono crystalling up this grove, making it big and gnarly. Sure, why not? And we'll get, of course, our meadow over here. And we'll get ourselves wheat field over here. We will equip a weapon for the second loop of this. And because this run is built on um, uh, taking a long time, we, um, we will um, speed things up and keep it speed too. Aha! Temporal Beacon. Hmm. Yeah, this is pretty good right here. Hmm. Yeah, let's get you here first. I'm curious to see what this watcher thing does. We're not in range of the beacon here, so we're not fighting a watcher this time around. 
Oh wait, that's a wheat field. Rocks here. But yeah, look how look how much faster the day is progressing. That's crazy. That's gonna be huge. Okay, now we actually equip a weapon. And actually, this is damage to all. We equip that shield because of this fight coming up here. Yeah, it's gonna take a bite out of us here. We don't quite have the, uh, yeah, we don't have the blood grove to, to make this w real shiny for us. This may be biting off a little bit more than we can chew. But luckily, none of the other fights are going to be quite this bad. Yeah. Sheesh. What did we get there? An orb of, an orb of expansion for that. That's a rare drop that you'll get sometimes. Um, okay, battlefield. Um, I do like me some battlefield sealer. Let's let's get them cooking over here. Let's get a more meadow because we need the healing. Uh, as for more vampire mansions, yeah, we'll get one right here. This shouldn't be quite as bad. Unless we get bledded. Alright, more chrono crystals. We'll put one up here. Uh, as for more groves. Yeah, we do want a grove here. No, over here. Because we do need to get a blood grove um, for our um, lich fight. All right, and Obliviate to help out with that. All right, another village. Uh, I'm not vampiring this one. I think this is just gonna be another, pl uh, a plain Jane village. We'll put you down here. Um, and you know what, we're gonna Oblivion that. Cause I don't wanna deal with rogues right now. Oh yeah, uh, max HP defense, go for it. Uh, shield. Defense, magic, damage. Yeah, you know what? I'll take the uh, I'll take that one a little uh, for a little bit more. We are gonna need some better stuff soon. All right, yeah, the vampire's here, so the uh, the temporal beacon isn't gonna the guy from the temporal beacon isn't gonna show up. All right, good. Blood Grove over here. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll put you down here. And actually, I do want to place these mountains. just to get our max HP higher uh, so that we heal more. Um, damage to all and attack speed. Yeah, we'll take that. We do need a better weapon though. Well, at least it's not a mimic. Ding, okay, that's an important ding. Well, here, let's wait for uh, Let's wait for these bats to die and also see what... Oh, thank goodness. Damage all and vampirism. And since we're not worrying about swamps, I'm okay with vampirism. Defense and more counter. Um, yeah, defense and counter. All right, let's see what our, uh, let's see what our perks are here. 
Blissful Ignorant. Upon each building, hero gets H eight times loop experience. You know what? That doesn't help us out immediately, but that helps us out for a while. It, we, we will gain more levels faster this way. And getting that extra um, vampirism is absolutely helpful. What do we got here? Regen. This. This more so than the defense encounter is the real deal. Regen is actually the stat that the stalwart warrior uh, values the most out of over all other stats. We just haven't gotten any regen yet, but now we have some regen. Um, yeah, and we're gonna need some extra defense here over the magic damage. We we are we focus we value sustain more than anything else. Um, you know what, I'm not going to be too prissy about the, the mountain range here. Uh, I need the extra HP here. Alright, definitely meadows go down ASAP. Yeah, the fact that these guys do damage to everybody, including their allies, means having vampires in those fights is fine. Um, less regen, but this gives more defense overall, plus some evasion. What do we got here? Some vampirism over attack speed and damage to all. This is defense and evasion. This is less damage, but has some defense, but I'll take the vampirism. Um... Yeah, I'll take that. Because that's actually more regen. Now we're up to 1.8 regen. Yeah, 9% vampirism. I mean, nah, vampirism's not bad. And while damage to all is certainly going to be useful for this fight, the vampirism's going to be helpful too. Yeah, you know what? We want... we Sustain is king. Sustain is king with the stalwart warrior. So let's do it. And now we've got the Blood Grove on our side. What are you? Defense encounter? Nope. Regen. I want my regen. Give me regen. Chomp. Chomp. And oops. Oh yeah, these guys are Chrono Crystal boosted. Hang on. Uh, dam magic damage and regen in a sword? Come to daddy. Magic damage... No, we want regen. Give me that regen. Defense evasion is actually not too bad, but it's not regen. You full yet? <laughs> um, right then, yeah. More Chrono Crystal boosted here. Wow, and look at that. That that uh, Architect one is paying off because we get experience every time we play something. <gasps> Axis Tilt. Time flies 15% faster. This is the one that we want for our stalwart warrior. We want time to go faster and faster. More, um, more, more uh, heals, more regen, more everything. Let's get that um, field down here. That rock down here. Come on, roots, thank you. All right. All right. There we go. Um, yeah, these three fights are kind of the more important ones. So I think I'm going to stick this beacon up here. They're also vampirified, so whatever that watcher thing is isn't going to bother us. And it blooms those meadows, so works out nicely.
All right. Um, that's that's the same copy of the item. Magic damage. Yeah, I think we're still good. I actually wouldn't mind missing the uh, the loot pinata on this trip because we're a little on the weaker side right now. And uh, fighting one of them. All right, good. I was worried that they would spit him out down at the bottom. Okay. Um, a village. Where do we want a village? Um, I mean, we could do another another village, another wheat field here. That would work out. Uh, where do we want more chrono crystals? Actually, you know what? Some chrono crystals by our camp here would work out nicely because we can play some meadows around here. Okay. Um. That's not the worst place in the world, actually. It, it, they'll be uh, off, spawned off of the battlefield. All right, well, um, meadow, chrono crystal. Yeah, one, um, one scarecrow down here doesn't bother me. All right. Um, I mean, it's going to be really hard to um, uh, overcome this broken longsword here with anything that drops, unless it's much higher level, of course. All right. Much needed heal. Um, oh, yeah. This is our... Yeah, that's our quest reward. Not, still not quite enough to overcome... We're in our temporal beacon range. There's the Watcher. Okay, so what are you? Cosmic Mage has a soul. Giving an alley 15 magic armor instead of attacking only once per creature flees if there are no targets for its ability. 33% um, chance to only receive one damage from an attack. 33% um, uh, chance to receive 150. Aha. Uh -huh. So he just buffed, he just gave a shield to, uh, to them. Yeah, still not too bad. Um, I mean, at some point this 0. 0.5, I mean, this is a lot of sustain. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves, but yeah. And then, and then here the vampire replaces him. Bats interrupting everybody. Alright, let's, before we hit the camp, let's get our 3x3 mountain so our max HP is much higher. And actually, let's get the rest of our max HP that we need here. I'm gonna rock up here and bloom that meadow. Um, get a meadow up here. And, well, yeah, look at all these levels we're getting from that skilled architect. Um... Damage increased by defense value. Well, we are going for um, we are going for for sustain, and defense is absolutely part of our game plan. Um, so yeah, dominant mass. Magic damage? Nope, I need more regen. Give me regen. I need supreme and stupidly overpowered levels of regen, please. Oop! Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Defense, defense, alright. I'm willing to go for to higher levels of defense. 
not damage to all. Magic damage defense is a, is a thing. And it's not regen. But it's it's now that we have that that perk, extra defense is absolutely something good. All right, good. More chrono crystals. And there's our ghost. All right, let's get some stuff down on the field. Okay, we'll put you down here. Meadow goes here. Temporal beacon goes here. Don't forget, because of uh, of that uh, chandelier or candelabra, we get um, we get um, five percent more damage when fighting under the effects of a beacon, of any type type of beacon. All right, Grove. Um. Where, where, if anywhere, do we want to, to start rocking more blood groves? Yeah, we can put one over here, something like that. I do like the mountains and all, but I wish there weren't quite so many of them. What are, we, what are you? Oh, regen plus... Oh, hi there. You've got the regen plus more sustain. You are you are my friend. And you are You're not regen, but mmm. You're gonna help with the fights coming up. Regen um Defense counter regen oof. That is hard to say no to. And then this armor, counter evasion vampirism. Uh, less vampirism, but uh, yeah. Although this has higher R uh, max HP bonus. And we do kind of need... Four Gaba. Oh, boy. This could be very bad. Yeah. That, um, that kind of sucked. Ooh. Okay, uh, we might not be long for this world after that. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to oblivion that. But yeah, we sucked through all of our potions because of that. Blood Grove? Blood Grove. Um, just in case we might be dying here. Now, do we heal any? No, it just increases the max HP. <laughs> it even produces on time to uh, annoy us here. Oop, here we go. Uh, yeah. Extra defense, if we can reduce it to chip damage, plus that uh, improves our damage output, that is absolutely worth it. Let's, I'm gonna slow things down here a little bit, because again, we might not be long for this world. Level three shield that does magic damage. Yeah, not quite. This damage to all, I mean, we did we did upgrade the Count's Lance. If we can survive this fight, we're gonna get a nice big fat heal. <laughs> After making one of the Scarecrows in that fight. Okay, 
There we go. Now this is where what we're talking about. Nice and slow. Take forever. All right, Grove. Um, yeah, I'm gonna put a Grove here just to compete for space with the Gabos. Dirk, Defense Evasion. Um, does more damage, although that's, that's, that's some of my precious regen. But again, defense is, is good too. So we will go defense evasion here. All right, nice big heal. Let's see if we can't handle four uh, these guys plus a champion. Now they're all gonna be hurting each other. Hmm. Worked out about as well as I, I could. Uh, regen, attack speed, evasion. Yeah, that's good to me. Shield is regen and attack speed. All right. Sign me up. Although that's a much bigger regen. Yeah. What do we have here? Defense, defense, evasion. Okay. Twist my arm here. This is all about the sustain. Okay, uh, more villages. More villages. And we have another thing. We're not going counterattack. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go for Blissful Ignorance here. Because we could use the heal. Ding! Um, so yeah, let's get rid of you. And we're going to get rid of you. We can get rid of all the nasties that we don't want. Isn't that lovely? Um, and that's enough HP to get me through. Because, uh, I mean, we do have the uh, the big McLarge fight here. Is there any other nasties that we wish to dispense with? No, I think we're good for now. And we have, we have, well... I may want to burn some some of these, like actually use them for the extra heals. Um, here's what we can do. It that undoes that and then redoes that, and then you can redo the mountains for extra things. All right, we will make sure we pause after this. because we don't want to burn any of these Obliviates. Um, yeah. A nice long bloody road there. And we put a rock here, and we get our mountain back. And it's a nice way to farm up that resource. Little tip there for you. All right, big, big fight coming in here. Let's see if we can handle three Rat Wolves and a Loot Pinata. Save the best for last, I guess. Oof. Well, we lost three of our Obliviates, but... Um, hmm. Yeah, more wheat fields. Another village. Uh, more meadows. Uh, temporal beacon... Yeah, I want to make sure this touches our, um... This touches our, um, our campfire here. Um, as far as Vampire Mansion goes, I mean, we could vampire up this place down here. Uh, but I actually might want to just pass it first and then let it do its thing, so we only have to do uh, two ghoul fights. That might be the smarter move. Um, let's repair this. Actually, that's going to be a mountain. Once I draw a proper mountain. Oh, and we get the 
Another loot pinata. Nice and early, and by himself, more importantly. Yeah, what do I want to do with these men? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna vampire up this place. All right, so a vampire plus this guy. At least they, we didn't have the bat swarm going after us here. Okay, um, wheat fields here. Meadow here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Damage to all. Attack speed. You're just pure... You're No, you're not pure defense. You are... Attack... Oh, you have some regen on you. You're actually only slightly... 371, you're only less slightly... Uh... Now, granted, we lose that on the fence. And the attacks, yeah, you know what, in that case, the regen, maybe not so much. Damage to all defense. Uh, this is more total defense, and yeah, we, we, this is good. I mean, this has, this has regen on it, and evasion. This one's tempting, but yeah, I'm going to stick with my guns. All right, anything bad spawn that I can obliviate? Not really. That is a pure regen ring. Um, and honestly... You know what? I know it's getting rid of some evasion, but I value regen more. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll Vampire Mansion up next. Oh, we're doing one damage to him. Uh, randomly. We also might kill him in one shot. Yeah, we can put you there. Another temporal beacon. Aha! Ready you. Alright, where else this place needs to be temporal? Actually, this whole this whole area needs to be temporal. And actually, you know what? No, we'll put one up here. And then we'll scare him off with a vampire. And then we'll save this other vampire mansion for over here. Yeah, now these guys, these are, these, the, yeah, the, the forest doesn't actually eat them. They want to eat them, and it, and actually, I think it finishes them, but it doesn't actually, like, nourish the forest. Okay, um, so now we vampire mansion. Our regen's a little bit lower than it should be. But I think with enough regen, we can make everything work. Yeah, and these guys' AoE attacks just hurt everybody else. Which is why I don't mind fighting them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Defense, damage to all regen. You have regen. Um, mountain? Goodbye. Actually, we didn't need to do that because they wouldn't have ever spawned anywhere because that's a village, but yeah, whatever. He, oh yeah, the one damage that they take from us here. Will you please hit her? Not that I mind this fight taking forever. I mean, sometimes we can get a lucky kill on them. 
but we do need... Our, our weapon is a little bit behind the times. Alright, two, two um, boss monsters here. Let's see how we hold up. And of course we're trying to get the Harpy. The hardest to... Uh, I should have uh, obliviated that one of these places here, because this is... There we go. Even for the stalwart warrior, this is a tough fight. But, time keeps passing. Faster as before. Let's get some meadows on there and keep boosting those that time, passage of time. We need more Chrono Crystals. Uh, where can we set up for another Chrono Crystal? Uh, like right here? Yeah. At least this one doesn't have the champions on it, so it shouldn't be quite as bad. better weaponry here. Alright, Chrono Crystals get, finally. Blood Grove. Um, yes, we do need a Blood Grove right here to help with our boss fight and also to fill in the area. Um, that was the whole reason I went with that. Uh, regular Grove? We can do a regular grove over here. Um, I might need to obliviate something. Well, we'll see what it looks like. There's one gobbo here from left over from the camp. Uh, we may want to... I don't want a vampire mansion up another village. Let's go Vampire Mansion over here. Uh, or do we run away? Discretion is the better part of Valor. Hmm. I mean, we do have a good alley worth of healing here, and these guys shouldn't be too bad. I do want to uh, use some of my Oblivions here. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to pass the camp, and we're going to nuke the mountain again. We're just going to use this to, to keep farming up resources here, and also farming up some heals. Now I'm a little bit more comfortable. All right, what do these guys do? Quest goal, submerge. Goes underground after every two strikes can't be targeted. Oh, that's not so bad. guys are tricky to fight, though. Alright, so maybe maybe Blood Clots are not the best thing for the Stalwart Warrior, because they do do quite a bit of damage here. I mean, it didn't help that we were fighting a champion, one of them. But good to know. Good to know for future runs that maybe, just maybe, that um, they're not the best thing to fight. Alright, nothing can, can get this, but we can place one of you. Alright, good. No mimics. But hey, as long as this is taken nice and long, you guys can do as much as you want. Hang on. Um, regen, defense, ooh. Yeah, it's a little bit less, but I like it. A 
Oh, will you hit him already? Alright, blood clots, I have made the determination that blood clots are not a, not a nice thing to have for the stalwart warrior. Alright, we still have a potion, and we're we're gonna we're coming up on some healing here, so I'm not too worried. Plus we have some emergency healing from from um, from our obliviates. Hmm, level 5 shield, okay. There goes our other potion. Level 6 armor, but it's just vanilla. <laughs> Alright, meadow. Uh, do we have... Alright, nothing... Alright, we need to start another chrono crystal. Um, right about here should be good. Ah, you had to join that fight. And of course, these are all being buffed by this one stupid goblin that I left live. I knew I should have, uh... Hang on, what's this thing do? It's a lot more damage is what it does, but... Do you have any counter? No, we need the extra damage. I should have stop. No, nope, don't, don't kill me. Yeah. You know what? And somebody pointed this out. We have these little skull tokens that I think you can use that to keep everything instead. If we give up a couple of these. Yes, we give up a couple of those skull tokens and we actually get to keep everything. And we uh, gathered quite a bit of things here. So you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to take it. All right. You know what? Stalwart Warrior, I think, has potential. Needs some refinement, but uh, has potential. All right. Let's, um, let's build. Can we afford? We can. The Intel Center. Put you down here. Okay. Here's what we've managed to learn. The world consists of darkness and fragments of your memories for um, quite a short period of time. Nothing is stable. But this is not completely true. There are some key memories that drastically change everything. By keeping a log of your expeditions, we're adding pieces of the picture together. It would be much easier if everything wasn't so shapeless. Remember, any knowledge is priceless. Don't forget to share it. We'll decide how, um, how to use it best together. And now we have an encyclopedia. Ooh! And now we get to see more in-depth uh, um, things of, of uh, different tiles we've seen and haven't seen. Very nice. Now, I don't think... Yeah, we didn't, uh, we didn't actually get any drops here. And I think we have one more slot open for something. Um, can we build anything else? Uh, now that we're looking at it. Uh, ooh, we're one sh wood short of another farm. A um, couple metal short of a crypt. Ooh, we can build the forest. Cut, take some rare resources, but... Wow, it's a forest. Yep, a forest. Solid wood, it's truly unbelievable. Yeah, I get it. I know what a forest is. A shining example of perennial evergreen flora. You making fun of me? That's how a log or a plank looks before it dies. So exciting. Yes, you're definitely making fun of me. So that gives us a new card that also unlocks the Lumberjack and the War Camp, neither of which we can afford yet, but they're on the horizon. And then over here in the river, the river, that, uh, that takes a lot of those things. Now these brown things we get when we uh, go into fights, what, what is that thing? Orb of Unity. So we need to farm shapeless masses to get more orbs of unity to get the uh, uh, thing here. We also have the library. 
which um, we're only short on wood. And this also, we have a whole butt ton of new cards to play with now, and I'm, that makes me very happy. So, if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So, until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!